in this video we are going to discuss about the sushma power supply on the completion of the sushma power supply the students will be able to analyze and design the sushma power so you can see the sushma power supply dc power supply so in the previous things that is direct and direct converters if there is a bug boost bug boost which not on does not provide any electrical isolation between the input and the output there will not be any connections between the input and the output or there will not be any separation between the input and output input will be input and output will be same there will not be any isolation or separation between the input and the output in the previous dc converters but these are the non isolated uh, dc converters and also in most of the application uh, isolation uh, which uh, that is separation which is required and this can be provided by the uh, one possible solution is that we are giving the ac supply that is 50 hertz supply to the transformer on the rectification that is rectify for rectifying the purpose we can use either diode thermistors uh, so this diode acts as a rectifier so that this ac voltage can be converted into dc supply that is given to the controller that is dc to dc converters which is non isolated and then it is given to the load and the problem is transistor operating at the 50 hertz frequency that requires a large magnetic core which is very bulky heavy and also it is very expensive so the solutions are um, we are using this transformer at a switched switching frequencies also small core size this turns ratio which is providing very flexibility to the design and also that can provide multiple outputs the next one is uh, you can see the typical smps block diagram so in this uh, smps first we are taking the ac input uh, supply that we are taking as 60 hertz and is given to the hemo filter then it is given to the rectifier plus filter so this rectifier will convert into dc current and also it acts as a filter which uh, removes the ripples and this unregulated dc supply which we are giving to this dc dc conversion with the isolation so this isolation in that we have a transformer hf transformer that we also uh, changes that is isolation between the input and the output that is rectifier plus filter then we are giving to the error amplifier pwm controller and also it acts as a switch so this switch we takes as a output that is feedback and this is regulated at the dc output next uh, dc under regulated term that is here we are taking the transformer which we are taking as a feedback then it is given to the three filters one is rectifier plus filter rectifier plus filter and one is regulator unregulated then one is unregulated so three transformers then we are taking this one and along with the feedback which are giving to the dc unregulated supply so based on this unregulated supply there will be a conversion in the dc dc convert uh, so this derivation part you can see it is in the simplified model and the flyback of the resistance of winding that is derived from the buck boost converter and also isolation which is provided by the high frequency transformer and here you see the derivation of the output voltage v not so um, this one is you can see the closed as well as the open terminal that is il and idl there is changed in the terminal that we write it as del il closed plus del il open is equal to 0 or we can write the inductor voltage second balance that is the average inductor voltage is equal to 0 so that you can write the closed terminal in terms of here and the open terminal then closed terminal you can write it up in the terms of derivation of the output voltage and if the switch is closed means it is on state then it will disable the transformer condition is this one and then del ilm closed is equal to vs dt divided by lm vlm is equal to vs and if the switch is open means then it is on off condition so that we will be writing this one as del ilm open is equal to minus v not of 1 minus d into t divided by lm n1 by l2 vlm is equal to mean minus v not of by n2 so both the cases we have been discussed that is one when switch is open and another one is closed if it is closed means it is on state and if it is open means it is off state so that uh, we are writing this equation as del ilm or closed is equal to vs dt divided by lm del ilm open is equal to minus v not of 1 minus d into t by lm into n1 by n2 and here you know that a del il of closed plus del il open is equal to zero so that we can write the equation as vs into dt divided by l plus minus v not of 1 minus d into t divided by l into n1 by n2 equal to zero and v not equal to vs of v by 1 minus d into n2 by n1 here this um, average inductor value is zero 
so that we can write the equation as dt of vs minus v naught of n1 by d2 into, into 1 minus d into t equal to 0 and also v naught is equal to vs of d by 1 minus d divided by into n by n1 and the waveforms of the flyback converter disclosed and open circuited the graphs are given here a closed and open then the terminal is given as the uh, scrangler waveform uh, in the minimum lm for the continuous current there will be a change in the input current that is il minimum secret ilm minus del ilm divided by 2 il max is equal to ilm plus del ilm by 2 so boundary condition this ilm and minimum and maximum is equal to 0 so you can write the equation as ilm minimum is equal to 1 minus d square of 1 divided by 2 f n1 n1 by n2 whole square Output voltage uh, ripple factor that is the derivation of this output voltage ripple is very similar to the bunk boost converter. So, that we can write the ratio of the ripple to the output voltage is given as del V naught divided by V naught, which is nothing but D divided by RCF. And full bridge, uh, full bridge uh, DC converter, the same analysis only here we are switching in two pair SW1, SW2, SW3, and SW4. And here you can find out the closed as well as the and terminal that is SW1, SW2 closed that is in case of D1 on and D2 off and SW3 closed means D1 off and D2 on. And so this uh, full wave rectifier you can find out the closed as well as uh, closed terminal derivation of the output voltage here also we can find out the voltage. Then minimum uh, current that is along the x axis and the y axis current will be calculated and then output ripple voltage is also calculated for the full wave as the same then half wave will also same thing we are calculating uh, for that uh, we are correcting the input DC voltage as zero and we are finding out the minimum and the maximum current thank you